In this video, we are going to create two-factor authentication for Yahoo Mail. Two-factor works on the principle that you can't sign in without something you know and something you have. In this case, you need to know your password and you need to have your mobile phone. Even if someone hacks your password, they won't be able to get into your account without your mobile phone. Yahoo calls this secondary sign-in verification. We're going to show you how to set this up. First, I'm going to log into my account by going to mail.yahoo.com and then putting in my name and password. In the upper right hand corner of the screen, move your pointer to the gear icon and then choose account info at the bottom. You'll need to supply your password again for extra security. After you put in your password, you'll see various account information. Scroll down until you see set up your second sign in verification and go ahead and click that phrase. Yahoo explains what second sign in verification is. So go ahead and read that and then click the box. You'll be given a choice of using the phone associated with your account or a different phone. I'm going to use the phone listed on the account in this example. If your phone number is old or incorrect in your account info, it's a good idea to change it before doing this. Next, I'll click Use Current Phone. Yahoo may ask to verify the number if you've not used it before in the account. Look at your phone for the text message, type in the code, and then click Verify Code. If Yahoo already has your phone on file, it may skip the step of requiring the code. After verifying your phone, Yahoo gives you the choice of using either security questions or your mobile phone to verify you, or using only your mobile phone to verify you. I recommend using only your mobile phone for verification, because sometimes security questions can be guessed. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that option. For extra safety, I recommend adding another mobile number of someone like a spouse or trusted friend in case you lose your phone and need access on the road. Go ahead and do this by clicking the add another option, typing in the phone number, and receiving the code like we did earlier. As long as I access my mail on this computer and with this browser, I won't need to type the verification code more than once. If I try a new computer or a new browser on this computer and try to access my mail account, by putting in the correct name and password, I'll be given the choice of accepting a text message or a phone call to verify who I am. As always, if we can be of assistance with setting up the security protection on your account or any of your computer needs, please give us a call. Mention this video and we'll discount your service call by $10. Thanks for watching and look for our other security videos to protect your online identity.